Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 10th, 2020. So today we have It's Time to Take Action, New Moon in Aries. So this is pretty interesting because we were just discussing about how you need to start setting those boundaries. That way you can find some resolution in your life, remembering that we design our own lives. I know, uh, you know, I've been feeling that too, where I'm looking around at the circumstances and going, you know, I can change this. <laughs> you know, I do have the power to believe in myself and try something new or take a different approach or, you know, I don't have to give in to the people who claim to have power over me, right? And I think that's part of, um, you know, that's just my personal example, but I'm sure everybody has one of their own where there's this self-revelation happening. So when we say it's time to take action, it's time to take accountability for the story that's being written for you. And are you okay with that? Do you like the way things are going? If the answer is no, what would you change about it? And I'm feeling too that when we then decide that we want change, we immediately go into the ego. We immediately go into the mental body, which is our sort of our protection mechanism for being human, right? <laughs> Having a plan always feels very comfortable. Well, maybe not for everybody, but usually we try to plan out our future or we're looking to the future, wanting to be ready for whatever might come at us. And I think what this is teaching us now is instead of going to that part, the ego part, to try to plot out your life, maybe take a rest and come into the heart and just be there, not having to figure anything out. And ask yourself, what brings me peace? What makes me feel harmonious? Do I need to rest today or do I feel like being creative? Do I feel excited about my work? And if not, why? This is the take action, I believe, that we're talking about here. And then we get on to the Cabochons. We have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Jophiel. So again, Archangel Raphael is all about the heart space. This could be a love connection here too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. There could be some bit of like romance in the air uh, because Jophiel is all about beauty and um, you know the, the sort of sensory response that we get from witnessing beauty and the wisdom behind that. So that does mean looking at deeper beauty. And Raphael's about the heart, love, healing, feeling connected. This is human connection we're talking about here. And that feeling like we're coming home. I think innocence comes close to that. Remember a time when you were a child, when being connected to the divine was just so innate that you didn't have to think about it. You didn't even know what to call it because you didn't know that it needed a name. This is what we're working towards again. And it's not going to be by way that we have in the past. It's not going to be by that kind of path. We're being asked to make different choices. So think on this today, <laughs> or should it rather I should say feel this out today <laughs> and write it down. See what comes up for you. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.